And behold, the new Gigapart store, Super Center in Huntsville, Alabama, a brand new location, 50 or 60,000 square feet of space. It's one of those two, I don't know. I'll put information in here later, but let's take a look through this entire store. It's gonna take a few minutes to get through it, so bear with me, but let's go. Walking into the brand new Gigapart store. Should have probably got a shot of the parking lot, but the parking lot's also huge. There's right there. And now everybody's gonna look at me weird, cause why not? Look at this thing. It's like 50,000 square feet. I think that's what they told me. 50,000. There's shopping carts. You've got shopping carts. Because why not? What other ham radio store has shopping carts? It's actually a lot more than ham radio store. So we're gonna take a look through the whole thing right now, guys. the checkout line. I asked him if this was a Fry's Electronics before. They said no, it was a, uh, a home store, the Home Depot home store, something like that. So, some of their Intellitron brand. Now, check all the links in the description below of this video, because I'll have different links for different things. All the Intellitron stuff, you can get a 5% discount with my coupon code, KC5HWB. Oh, bongo ties. Those are good for, like, maybe coax or camera lines or you know something you're gonna roll up ha -ha. and the infamous banana phone you can't beat that tactical pins folding knife pocket knives there's going to be it's not here right now but there's going to be some old light stuff in here as well look at that little shot glass and a flask and these are laser engravable. Kind of odds and ends and trinkets here. There's a lot of different bags, different types of bags. Camera bags, radio bags, field bags, EDC bags throughout this store. We're gonna see those. I'm gonna take you by all of those. All their metal earth stuff here. They had this in the old store build these little cool little trinkets and gadgets to sit on top of your on your desk or something wherever you want to put them I guess I'll check out registers there their grand opening is Saturday March 23rd this video should post the day before that and unfortunately I will be in Cleveland Ohio that day for the Hamsai conference I really wish they wouldn't have scheduled this on the same day as the Hamside Conference, the grand opening for this. I wish it would have been last weekend or next weekend. Neither one would have worked fine for me, but we'll see. I think next weekend's actually Easter. That's why I didn't do it there. But anyway, so there'll be a good group of people here for the grand opening. And if you're in the area, stop by. It'll be a, it'll be a show. All right, so you've got these blue signs. This one says Toys and Gadgets, obviously. That one says astronomy, hanging from the ceiling there. After that's maker supplies. There's, um, I can't see what that one says from here. Radios, computers, photography, snack bars, a snack bar in the back, business solutions, customer service there on the side wall. And that's the door we just came in. So we're gonna walk through this whole store, guys. So stick around, because why not? So this is toys and gadgets. If you want to come up here and check out the latest ham radio and you want to bring your kid with you, guess what? Honestly, most of this stuff looks like it's pretty, <laughs> would be pretty cool adult toys, if you will. Like older person toys, maybe. That's kind of, build a wind term turbine to generate electricity. If that's not ham radio, I don't know what is. Mini telescopes there. Snap Circuits Pro, building circuit, build your first circuit board. That's neat. Very Radio Shack style stuff here, except looks like there's just more of it. Build over 85 exciting projects with this STEM kit here. A lot of cool stuff for that. Might even make for a good YouTube video. So this is the astronomy section. They're carrying, carrying a full line of telescopes. Sky Watchers. 
there. Now this little dwarf lab, Jason from Gigaparts had this at his house last night and he was zooming in on the moon and then uh, a nebula after that. And that thing is really cool. It's controlled by an Android app and wow, that thing is awesome. And it packs down into a bag, not much larger than that unit you see right there. So we might have, to, it has a tracker in it. You click on the string and it'll track movement. And I think that would be really cool to do at the hunting lease if I, you can track like wildlife with it. Cause it's got a camera in it, not just, a, not just an astrophotography camera, but a regular camera as well. And of course, have to get the big guys here. So some really cool astronomy and telescope stuff. There's a smartphone photography kit. Look at that. Solar binoculars. Celestron telescopes here, whole new brand. And that's what all this stuff here on the wall is. Skywatcher, more stuff here. I told you about the bags, right? This is more, those bags look really kind of similar to the bags that were are on, on the front there, but uh, trust me, there's a lot of bags. All right, this is the maker section here. You got all kinds of filament on the wall. American filament. Midnight black. Now this is a display. This is supposed to be the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. They say that's one of the best ones to get commercial wise. One of the best ones. One of the best ones that's you know, like for small size, I guess. I don't know. I don't know much about 3D printers, but apparently that's a good one. And I told him, I said, is that, can you like order stuff and have, bring stuff custom in made? And they're like, no, it's just for display, but we're thinking about setting up a station where people can bring their own projects in and get them printed and whatnot. I'm like, that's exactly what you should do. It's exactly what you should do. And they have those for sale. Bamboo Lab X1 Series 3D printer. And a bunch of filament for it as well. How you doing? Look and sound familiar. Do I? Yeah. I'm Jason. I'm just taking some video of the brand new store. <laughs> yes. That's how I found out it was a new store. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that, dude, what is, oh, that's heat shrink. Wow, look at all the heat shrink. I didn't know what that was hanging on the wall over here. I'm like, wait a minute. Here's a solder practice kit, auto scan FM radio kit soldering stations is a helping hands elements there and look at all that heat shrink I may have to get some heat shrink where else can you buy heat shrink like that sure Amazon but yeah <laughs> I don't know there's a Heiko soldering station pretty much everybody every time we do these projects about kit builds on one of our YouTube channels at most of us are using these Heiko soldering stations and there's the FX 951 there the 888 Delta, that's the one I have right there. So there's a couple different models there. And on the aisles behind there. Oh, you're good. All kinds of project boards and kits and whatnot. This is very Radio Shack feeling right here. switches and resistors and potentiometers. Butt connectors, ring terminals. Cool stuff there. All right. And look at this, this is tons of wire, stranded wire. Fillmore, 100 foot. Solid red 20 gauge wire right there. So antenna guys. There's your wire right there. All kinds of all kinds of colors and whatnot. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> okay, so they do have like an excavator, so you see the treasure hunting. That's the section. That's the sign I couldn't see a minute ago treasure hunting. So they have some metal detectors 
and excavator equipment here. Literally digging for gold. Right there, fold up premium shovel. Premium digger there, that's cool, okay. All that kind of good stuff. More metal detection items there. Okay, so here's this. So up front we talked about a couple of flashlights and I said something about Olight. Night Core is going to be one of the brands they carry and they're about to expand these. This is just a few items here, but they're going to expand this uh, very much, I'm told. So you're gonna see a lot more different options from Night Core and there's some Olight stuff right there as well. Good flashlight supply store. There's some video game stuff, okay. Thrustmaster Yoke Pack Boeing Edition, <laughs> okay. Flight simulators. There's some bags, laptop bags. And this is all their Explorer line of bags. They're sling bags, backpacks, universal bags for this, that, and the other. I told them that I wanted to get a couple of these and do some videos specifically about these bags. The actual Explorer bag is over there. The one, the antenna bag. We'll get to that in a minute. But these are the extra universal bags that they have. And these are on my page also. You can save a 5% discount on all these bags. The coupon code of KC5HWB. Kind of neat. Pretty well made. Made overseas in Asia. Not made in the USA, but that's okay. First aid, like a first aid type kit right there. Just a bag for it though. So full line of bags. And I'm gonna be doing more videos on that myself soon. So now that's the whole wall. That's one wall. I've got two more walls to go through. Well, really one more wall because this, this wall over here, there's no products on that. But there is a snack bar and a classroom. We're gonna walk through that here in a second. So that's one whole wall of product right there. And I pretty much went through the stuff on all these aisles right here, but I haven't gone through the middle yet. So we'll get to that in a minute. But back here, we're getting more into the ham radio stuff, rig expert stuff. There's a whole wall of Mezzi and Plumy coax over there. Power works, wiring, connectors, Anderson power poles, Astron power supplies. Pretty good sized display for rig expert. All of the Shackmaster power supply right there and all of their sticks, analyzers, stick analyzers. And then this whole wall right here is for Mezzi and Plony Coax. And they're gonna be adding more than this. They kind of got everything spread out right now. They've sold a lot of it and they're trying to get more in. But that's a whole wall for Mezzi and Plony Coax. That, all of that, you can save a 10% discount with my code of HR2 cables. Again, the links to this and everything else will be in the description below. And then these middle aisles right here, here's your ham radio books. Learning material of all kinds. Technician class, Dan, KB6NU, W5YI. Several different styles of ham radio books there. On the opposite side is ABR coax. Not as big as the Mezzi and Plumy, but still well represented ABR coax. You can save 10% off of all ABR products, also with the code of HR2 cables. So that code will get you 10% off of ABR and Mezzi and Plumy at the GigaParts website with the link in the description below. Check this out. Micro Morse key with an aluminum vase. Pretty cool, okay. Lots of different Morse code keys there. Whole shelf of Bioinno. Renewable power pack. Different size batteries. Lithium iron phosphate chargers. There's some Jenison stuff up at the top there. Jenison stuff is on my page as well at the 5% off page. Solar charge controller from Bioinno. They probably had, should have some display stuff out here for Bioinno. Some mass trant stuff for guying and towers. Lots of paracord wire. And then the back of the store were radios. So you gotta walk through all that stuff to get to the radio section, which is probably a really good idea, actually. 
There's the ICOM display. All the ICOM stuff right there, VHF, UHF, handheld, mobile radios, HF, 9700, 705. There we go. And over here we've got scanners. The DV Mega Cast. And mystery boxes. <laughs> There's a shelf with mystery boxes on it here. I'll show those to you in a minute. In a minute. Bearcat scanners from Uniden. Different kinds of, uh, there's some Uniden CB radios. Bear Tracker 885. The uh, C Crane, that's a great receive radio if you're wanting to listen to what's going on in the world around you. That's good there. This one's tuned in and actually receiving right now. Volume's turned down. So you might have not heard that, but it is actually receiving right now. And over here is the Yezu section. All of their HTs, mobile radios, VHF, UHF, HF radios. That's the new 710 with the speaker. That's the 991A. They don't have the FTDX10 or the 101D out right now, but they'll probably be adding that later. Chameleon antennas has a good showing here. It's a chameleon with the coil on the bottom, and pretty sure that's the impasse system there. That bag right there, that tan bag, is their sling bag. I've got a review of that on my Pac-Man channel. I'll link that in here somewhere for you. But tall vertical antenna from Chameleon. More Chameleon stuff right here. Chameleon's all made in the USA. These shark antennas, ham sticks, those are all made in the USA as well. I've done a couple videos about them. They've got a full line of elk and arrow antennas for you satellite guys. Portable Yagi, handheld Yagi antennas, VHF, UHF. And then a full line of Comet. Everything from Comet right there. Base station, mobile antennas. Some people often ask me what my favorite mobile antenna is and it's for VHF, UHF. The one that I currently run is this SBB5. It's the one I currently have on my truck. I've got one of those. I had one of these for a while, the SBB2. And the difference between the 2 and the 7 and the 5 is typically how tall they are. They're all dual band. This one here, this 224, is a tri band. It includes 220. This 2x4 is a wide banded that will cover ham radio and GMRS. Great GMRS antenna for your vehicle. I really like Comet antennas, been using them for years. They've always done really well. So coming back over here, walking through the middle aisles in this area. Here's a bunch of Yezu stuff here with the speakers. And on the opposite side is all radio waves. Antennas and switch, Alpha Delta switches, surge protectors. Radio wave antennas, radio waves antennas. And this is a pretty cool pad right here. World map pad. Of course, we've got R Finder represented, represented here, as well as, as well as Sun SDR, Expert Electronics, and more CB stuff. There's MFJ stuff and Heil, a bunch of stuff from Heil there, headsets and connectors and cables. More weather alert radios from Sea Crane and Kato, E-Ready and Midland, great receive radios. LDG, full spread. And this is their Atelitron. display here and I'm told they have 70, 70 new Atelitron SKUs that are about to hit the, uh, the website and this store. So you'll be seeing a lot more products from Atelitron coming up. I've got a couple of videos for Atelitron that I'm working on now, especially one about this stainless steel telescoping antenna 
whip, antenna mast. It's not a mast, it's an antenna. It's a portable antenna. You can put it on top of multiple things and extend it out to work multi-bands. Uh, just put it on the analyzer and pull it out till you get to the band you want to. But you can save 5% off of everything in Teletron with the code of KC5HWB as well. You can save 5% off with everything Explorer-wise, everything that has the Explorer name on it. Same code, KC5HWB, get you 5% off of all that. This is all their new bags. That's their tried and true battery box that I've used for a long, long time. There's some accessories over there. Solar panels. The new bags that I just did a video about about a month ago, shortly after Hemcation. Those are all represented here. They've got a bag for the 891 marked right there. You see that? That's a 991A bag there. 7300 bag, which I, I bet that 7300 bag would fit the 9700 as well. And this is their baseline backpack, Explorer backpack. I want him to do one of these in another color because I'd like to have three or four of those filled with different items. And I like to look at, at the different colors so that I can keep, keep straight what I'm doing and what I'm not doing. That's just my personal preference. So all the exploring and Teletron stuff right there. So now we're at the, the back of the store. We've gone through that wall. We've gone through this wall in the back and we've gone through that side wall over there. And all this stuff in the middle here is pretty much all computer stuff. I'm gonna walk through that in a second. They're gonna have a full snack bar right here. That's gonna have a curry coffee machine and snacks in that first refrigerator where he's at right there with a microwave on the table and the, the tablet on top of the table right there is a self checkout. Just go scan it yourself and pay for it, your own whatever you want. These bistro tables in here. Sodas and coffees and whatnot. Hot coffee will be available here very soon. Chips and snacks will be available in there and then some cold stuff in there. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. My, if I lived closer, I would come up here and work like once a week and just sit down right here. And just sit down right here, connect to the Wi-Fi and work, do some editing, do some stuff on the website, ship some orders. So that's all around here. And then in the classroom section, they have a large sign here that when it, when it cycles here, these are all the classes and events that will happen on their grand opening Saturday, March 23rd. 10, 10, 30, 11, 31. Stuff for photography, stuff for light and painting, astrophotography, Yezu presentation about Wires X, Yezu presentation, another Yezu presentation, Sony lineup, Unistellar demo. And that'll all be done in this classroom over here. Hey. This is the classroom. You can see how big that is. Dave, yeah, I mean, this is the soft opening, so you don't really have, it's not 100% done yet, but look at this. These tables, they can move around. Podium up there. I assume there's probably some sort of divider or something, I don't see it. But they've got two projectors, one on, Two projectors on the ceiling, the screen's right there. It seems like there would be a divider right here. Maybe there's a portable divider they can divide the classroom with. There's another door right there. So there's a door right there and a door right there. If you were to divide the classroom right here, you could actually have two classrooms, each with its own door. Shelving area back there, cabinets for storage supplies, emergency exit, that kind of thing. There's a sound, uh, sound booth back there to control the sound, but be all kinds of classroom activities here in the future that should be really Really good uh, addition for ham radio photography, um, astro photography, uh, whatever. All of the things that you just saw out in the other room. Now you might have heard me talk about the fact that they are going to have their own YouTube and podcasting studio. And by the time you watch the video, this video you're seeing right now, I will have live streamed from in here already but there's nothing in here right now. So they're gonna have this place set up with uh, proper daylight balanced lighting, 
tripods for cameras, a sound system. It's, uh, they said they had five layers of sheetrock on all of these walls. So when you shut that door I just walked through, it's going to be completely sound quiet in here. So you're gonna be able to come in here and do live streams and do podcast recordings. This, this room will be rentable to those of you who wanna come in here and take advantage of it. And I was hoping it'd be a little bit more together today, but it's not. So we'll live stream from in here a little bit tomorrow. Uh, at the time of this recording, it'll be tomorrow. You will, you will have seen that before, this, uh, before you're watching this video here. But after that, we'll probably go and uh, we'll be back here in August for the ham fest and I'm gonna live stream at that point in time. You better be sure. All right, so coming out of the back corner back there where the classroom and everything is, this is all the computer stuff here tower cases, gaming chairs and consoles. There's going to be some actual simulators here, like get in, sit down, flight and driving simulators here that they're bringing in later. So that's why all this empty space is here right now. This chair right here <laughs> is pretty cool. I mean, all these chairs are pretty cool, but this one's like a full recliner electric recliner recliner you can see that tray table right there you can put it on either side where that is and the chair has a USB-C port in it so what are you going to do and they said this would recline almost all the way down you can almost lay on it like a bed so I might have to take that home with me because I am I did drive to Huntsville this weekend so I might just have to take that home with me uh, when my wife says no you can't keep that I may have to sleep on it but that's okay it's supposed to be really comfortable Computer monitors, right there. Single tower air coolers, video cards. Gigaparts has been a computer supplier for a long time. They've been in the computer game for a long time. And they're going to be expanding that now that they have all this new space. So there's a UPS backup. Power supplies for computer desktops, gaming laptops right here. All of this curved monitors. Good stuff right there. Gaming headsets. I might have to buy me a gaming headset actually. Before the live stream tomorrow, I might wanna use that. Oh, look at this, microphones. These are great for podcasters. I may have to buy me a new microphone to keep in my go bag for live streaming on the road. I have a really good, I have my Heil set up at home obviously, and I have a good microphone that I keep at my Galveston house, but I don't have that with me today. Podcaster Essentials, look at all that. Okay, I might have to, I might have to tool with that a little bit. Use some new stuff on the live stream tomorrow. Mouse pads and whatnot. More monitors around here. Computer stuff, there's some routers and switches and ports. Gateways. Starcom, StarTechCom connectors, uh, SATA cables, computer cables, all kinds of stuff like that. There's a full line of ProMaster tripods. monopods. This is cool. I might pick that up myself. Probably going to spend some money this weekend. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, those of you who are podcasters or YouTubers, you should recognize this. This is a Joby Gorilla Pod. These are very popular amongst the YouTube community. And uh, now they sell them here at Gigaparts. Promaster stuff. This is lighting equipment for outdoor lighting, reflectors and shades. More tripods, colored shades for outdoor lighting and background system, green screens, back, background stand. They carry Canon, Sony and Nikon and Fujifilm cameras. These are mirrorless cameras from, so from Canon. It's pretty much the full lineup of their digital SLR cameras. There's the Nikon one there. I'm not as familiar with Nikon as I am with Sony, or I'm sorry, with Canon. But this is their uh, Z9 mirrorless camera. That looks like a beast there. Xenon FX. And 
the Canon stuff, this, it's double-sided. So there's more over here. There's an R7, R6, R5 here. The camera you're watching right now is a Canon M50. There's the R100, R50. A couple of mirrorless cameras there. And then Sony, got a pretty good lineup of Sony stuff here. And this one right here is their ZV-1. This is a very popular vlogging camera. A lot of guys I know, um, Think Media rates that camera very highly. It's small and compact, as you can see. Great vlogging camera. Great on the road camera if you're a YouTuber. There's an A7R and an A7, two of the mirrorless cameras. A7C, the A7 III, and the A6700. I have a 6500. It's a predecessor to this one. I'm pretty happy with it. So in fact, I was gonna bring it this trip and I put it somewhere. I don't know where I put it, but it is what it is. So this is pretty much the first section behind the checkout where we walked in right there where the front door is and then the camera sections right up front. And then these middle sections, those will be the last things we talk about today. Intelligent projector there. They've got more of these hard cases, a universal. A lot of different camera bags from ProMaster. I'm not really familiar with the bags from ProMaster, so I'm gonna have to check some of these out. They do have Wandred, Wand, Wandered, however you, however you say that, which is a pretty popular camera brand. Low Pro, you're gonna recognize Low Pro. A few Low Pro bags, but these right here I'm really excited about. These are Nomadic. Now, Nomadic is a company that makes bags, and I ran into them at Vid Summit last year. And that bag right there is the 25 liter Peter McKinnon camera bag, customizable. I just released a video on my Pac Man channel about that bag like a week ago. And I walk in here and I see it, and I'm like, wait a minute, you guys carry these bags now? You carry this line? And they're like, yep, and we're gonna be expanding it too. So, very well made, very good camera bags from Nomadic right there. I told you I was be showing you a lot of bags today accessories for cameras, lens caps and whatnot, filters, lens protectors, lens cases, some big lens cases in there. SanDisk uh, SD and micro SD cards, USB flash drives. U-Green chargers for micro USB, USB-A quick charge, desktop, portable, tra portable and desktop, leave on your desktop chargers, that kind of thing. So once again, one from about the middle of the store here, one last look around, this is a huge 50,000, I'm pretty sure they told me it was 50,000 square feet, 50,000 square feet of technology superstore from Gigaparts in Huntsville, Alabama, which includes, of course, ham radio way there in the back. It's a really good display of ham radio back there. And I'm glad to have been here to capture some, some of the very first footage of this store and excited to see how it grows over the next several months. Be back here in August and we're gonna be live streaming from that room more than one time. So thanks for watching. Check all the links in the description below because like I said, um, I'll share several discount links with you on that uh, in the description of this video. You guys let me know if you ever come up here, if you're planning a trip out here or not, but you come out here anyway, put a comment in the video below and just let me know you were here and what you think about it, what you think maybe they should add, and what, you, what really impressed you about it. 73 guys.